Hi, this is Miss Pat here. I'd like to welcome you to National Park Ology, and so would my friend Smokey the Bear. I'm sorry we can't be together for this, but hopefully you'll enjoy our short trip through some of the national parks throughout our country. Enjoy. Before we take a tour of the national parks, we should learn a little bit about their history. The national park system consists of hundreds of areas in the United States that have been set aside for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. A national park, which is what we're focusing on today, is an area also set aside by a nation's government to protect natural beauty, wildlife, or other remarkable features. The world's first national park, which was Yellowstone National Park, was established in the United States in 1872. There are 20 different types of areas in the national park system. That includes the 62 national parks. There are 81 national monuments, 30 national memorials, 75 national historic sites, and other protected environment areas for a total of 416. The different types of areas in the national park system are preserved for three basic reasons. The first reason is that it has beautiful or unusual natural features. One of those examples would be Death Valley National Park. Another reason is to preserve it is for his, its historic importance. Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield in Georgia was preserved for this reason because of its significance during the Civil War. And also for the third reason, attractive recreational features. This is Padre Island National Seashore. Wouldn't you like to be there right now? National park system areas can be preserved for one of these reasons or more than one. On this map, you can see the 62 national parks and where they are located. It's time for us to begin our field trip through the national parks. The blue lines indicate the route we're going to take to visit them. So hop on the bus and let's get going. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The first stop on our tour is Olympic National Park in the state of Washington. Olympic National Park is known for its very diverse ecosystems with glacier cap mountains, old growth rainforests, and about 70 miles of wild coastland. Olympic National Park was established in 1938 to preserve the Olympic mountains, the forests, and wildlife. You can see on the right the one rainforest that exists in North America. This is whole rainforest, and many of these trees can live to be a thousand years old. One particular animal you may see is the Roosevelt elk, which are prevalent in the Olympic National Park. We're now going to travel south to California to visit Yosemite National Park. Yosemite National Park is best known for its waterfalls, its giant sequoias, and a vast wilderness area. At 2,425 feet tall, Yosemite Falls is the tallest waterfall in North America. The mountain lion is also known as a puma, cougar, and a catamount. You will see them running through Yosemite National Park 
Rising some 3,000 feet in the air, El Capitan is the world's largest solid block of granite. Yosemite features a 5,000 foot tall rock called the Half Dome. Bobcats are roughly twice as big as the average house cat. They also call Yosemite their home. We are now heading east through to Arizona to the Grand Canyon National Park. The Ca Grand Canyon overwhelms our senses through its immense size. Grand Canyon National Park includes over a million acres of land. This photograph shows just a portion of the canyon that was carved from rock over millions of years by the Colorado River. That's how our canyons were formed. Over billions of years, the rivers would wear away at the rock and create the canyon. Weighing up to 300 pounds, bighorn sheep are the largest native animal in the park. At Mohave Point, walls of brown and red rock rise above shadowy gorges. We're now heading north to Arches National Park in Utah. It has unusual sandstone formations that resemble huge arches. The park has over 2,000 natural stone arches in addition to hundreds of soaring pinnacles, massive fins, and giant balanced rocks. This red rock wonderland will amaze you with its formations, refresh you with its trails, and inspire you with its sunsets. You need to remember these were not created by man. This, these were naturally formed over the years. We are now heading north to the most famous national park, Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park covers areas in three states, Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. Established in 1872, Yellowstone National Park is America's first national park. Yellowstone's Old Faithful Geyser erupts more frequently than any of the other large geysers at the park. It was named Old Faithful because it always erupts around the same time. You see a wolf roaming around its home in Yellowstone National Park. The Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone is a popular hiking area in this park. The Grand Prismatic Spring is Ye Yellowstone's largest hot spring. It forms a prism from the way the light hits it, like a rainbow. Yellowstone also has its waterfalls. This is Moose Falls. I wonder what animal roams around this area. Let's continue our trip as we head east to Badlands National Park in South Dakota. This park contains one of the world's richest fossil beds. Ancient mammals such as rhino, horse, and saber-toothed cat once roamed here. This national park is known for its rock formations, which are also surrounded by grasslands. The American bison, which live in this national park, can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. We are now going to head far east to the coastland to the state of Maine and Acadia National Park. Acadia is one of the top 10 most visited national parks in the United States. I was lucky to have been able to visit this park many years ago. Acadia National Park is located on an island named Mount Desert Island. You see in the picture Bass Harbor Headlight. It is the only lighthouse on this island. 
Acadia's Cadillac Mountain rises about 1,530 feet in the air. When you go to Cadillac Mountain, you can see the entire park when you are standing there. We are now heading southwest to Mammoth Cave National Park in Kentucky. Mammoth Cave National Park surrounds Mammoth Cave, which is part of the world's longest known cave system, which is over 400 miles long. As you hike through Mammoth Cave, you come across many natural wonders. It contains several lakes, rivers, and waterfalls. I also had the opportunity once to go through Mammoth Cave. Not all of it, but part of it. But it's beautiful. We are now heading south to Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It is world renowned for its diversity of plant and animal life. This is America's most visited national park. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park straddles Tennessee and North Carolina. This park covers more than 500,000 acres of land. Great Smoky Mountains National Park gets its name from the smoke-like fog that hangs over the mountains. It's a result of rain and evaporation from trees. Red wolves, which are a rare wolf species, live at Great Smoky National Park. Visitors to the park must follow rules and take precautions to ensure that they and the bears there remain safe. So don't feed the bears. We are now traveling south to the tip of Florida to Everglades National Park. It is an important habitat for numerous rare and endangered species. One of those is the manatee. This one and a half million acre park is a wetland ecosystem. It is also home to more than 360 species of birds. The Florida panther calls Everglades its home. It can grow seven feet long. Some 200,000 alligators live at Everglades National Park. See you later, alligator. We are now going way north to Alaska to take a look at two of their national parks. The first one is Denali National Park and Preserve. Denali encompasses about 6 million acres of land. An estimated 300 to 350 grizzly bears live in the Denali Preserve. The tallest peak in North America, Denali rises 20,310 feet in the air. While you're in Denali, you will probably spot moose and maybe many families of moose. Glacier Bay National Park in southeastern Alaska features spectacular scenery and abundant wildlife. This area was once entirely covered by glacial ice. If you are wondering who that person in the upper left corner is, yes, that is me all bundled up on a cruise ship. Behind me is Tracy Arm Fjord, which is part of Glacier Bay. Those are not tire tracks that you see. Those are areas that have been melted away by global warming. This again was once all glacial ice. Are you ready for a complete opposite? We are now going down to Hawaii, where it is nice and warm, and go to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. This is Kilauea, one of the two active volcanoes at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. 
The other is called Mauna Loa. Since there are volcanoes, there will be lava. And hardened lava covers ground in some parts of the park. This area is home to animals, one of them being the Nene Goose. Well, that's the end of our field trip. I wish we could have gone to all 62 national parks, but there just wouldn't be time. You can learn more about the national parks on your own. One great website to go to is National Geographic Kids, and you see that website at the bottom. It has many different areas to explore on that website. There are quizzes to take, videos to watch. If you can't remember this whole website, just Google National Geographic Kids and in the search bar type in National Parks. If you can, when you're on that website, download the National Parks Fun Pack. There are many different puzzles and fun activities that you can do. If you get yourself a sheet of paper, we can create an origami woof. The next slides will go through each step of making the woof. If you take your eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, which is your just the size of a normal piece of printer paper, you fold the left corner down until it meets the right side. In step two, cut off the bottom below the area that was folded and you will have created a square. In step three, first lay your paper so it looks like a baseball diamond. Then fold the top all the way down to the bottom and then crease it. In step four, fold the top corners down. Kind of just judge a little part of it and fold. In step five, fold the corners up to form the ears. Try to judge so that it is even. In step six, the point should stick up after you have folded it. Now you need to flip it over and you can draw a face on it. Anytime during this, if I went too fast, you have the luxury of pausing, which you couldn't do to me when we did it in person. And this is what the finished product would look like. I did not use printer paper. I used construction paper that was gray. The only problem using construction paper is it's a little thicker and might be a little harder to fold, but it worked out well. Again, don't forget to go to the National Geographic Kids website and download the fun pack. You see on the right, the directions for the origami woof. We did the top one that says easy. If you want a challenge, you can try to make the other woof. Another great website to go to to learn more about the national parks is the National Park Service website, which you see the address of it on this slide. There's an area for kids, for junior rangers, or you can go to the, the spot where it says find a park, pick the state, and see what national parks, and you can learn more about the national parks I told you about and some others that we did not have time to visit. So see what you can learn on your own. Visit us online at the Franklin Park Library website for information about our upcoming virtual programs and more activities. Goodbye and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy travels through the National Park. All of us at the library miss you very much. 
So we're sending you a virtual big bear hug. Hope to see you soon.